In the early days of ATV racing, Team Honda was the king. You had Dean Sendall, Marty Hart, and then Mike Coe. I met up with Mike Coe at a race in Ashtabula, Ohio. It was called the Legends 2000. They had all of the icons of the industry there. Got to talk to him about what it was like being a Team Honda rider back in the day, racing ATCs, the battle between Honda and Kawasaki, as well as what he did transitioning after that onto quads and where he sees the future of the sport, as well as who does he think the best rider of all time is. Check out what Mike has to say. My name's Mike Coe, and I was racing, uh, they called me the coach. Well, I've already got I'm originally born out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I was uh, moved to Southern California in 67. It's been a couple of years in Ohio. Tell me your racing history, like what ch championships or major races you've won. I started racing uh, bicycles. Uh, moved into 18 racing in uh, 1978, modified KTC 90. Got out with the American Honda in 1982. I was an uh, off road national champion in 83. Paul Hawk Ross, national champion in 84. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to Paul Hawk Ross, four times. Lots of other races, right? Everybody. Like, I'm that good. All right, I think that covers it. it. Um, what are you doing now? Right now, I'm working for a company that's uh, solar turbines in San Diego. It's marketing, it's marketing, just for the gas turbine engine. I've been with them about 10 years. Uh, an excellent company to work for. Uh, okay. How'd you get started racing ATVs? Actually, uh, my brother got me into it. I already had a, a CR125 at the time. And he had some modified ATC90s that he had. He was playing around a little racetrack. And for some reason, he wanted me to give it a try. I went down to the racetrack. It's my first race. I ended up winning for it. We've been kind of teaming up ever since then. All right. Out of all the bikes that you've ridden, I know that you rode for Team Honda for a long time. So you're on all the three wheelers. And then, uh, you race Banshees and a couple other different bikes that you race. Um, what's the favorite bike that you've ridden? I still like the two wheelers. I think they're a little more capable. They have higher speeds. The turning on them was really severe in right though, especially for TT racing and any, any other kind of racing. People say they had a peculiar hand characteristics that might be true, but I still felt right hands, they were faster. Um, of all the quads, I felt my Suzuki was the best hand, and uh, naturally, the Banshees were the fastest. I first came from Right. Um, now, you said you haven't raced or ridden in seven years. Right. How is it getting back out here, getting on the track on a race bike? Well, it's true. I have, uh, last time I raced the quad, which I trained for and practiced extensively for and tuned for, was uh, Pikes Peak Race in 1993. That was the, the year that they were going to let motorcycles and ATVs back on the hill. And we did a lot of testing and I did a lot of riding and my brother and I went up there and won that race. Set a new record for it. But since that race, I haven't set a foot across the dirt bike or a quad since until yesterday. And I uh, had a delayed fly and I came out here, third set of bikes and I'm going But some still the luck, I got the whole shot. I didn't know what exactly when I was from from uh, practice that. About two laps, I feel like Popeye my arms broke. Yeah, that, that's it. I actually feel better today at the race than the handle. Yeah. <laughs> What's the the biggest difference between racing back in, in the '80s, three wheeler days, versus racing now? Uh, well, there really is a whole lot of difference then. There was a lot of emphasis and a lot of pressure to win races by by Honda. Uh, a lot of pressure to always, you know, do the right thing. Remember, you guys are the main reason that this is still going. They felt that people were looking at us as examples. So they probably were looking up to us because we had a lot of experience. But as far as the racing goes, I think it's still the same. Um, one aspect that I can say I feel kind of went away a lot with the quads was the uh, little bit of discipline went away. When I raced, raced Virginia and Marty and Dean, 
we could dice really close and, and we trust each other's talent enough that we could race close. But but yeah, man, the four wheelers, if I call these brave bars, guys starting sneaking the wheels in there a lot of times we shouldn't be. And um, a lot of guys that really weren't competitive on three wheelers were all of a sudden brave enough to storm in front of the front. Right. Um, now, other than yourself, who do you think the uh, the best ATV ATV rider ever was, or is? Um, well, I think in my career we all were pretty well equally talented, as far as the three wheelers go. Dean Sundahl, Jimmy White, myself, Marty Hart. On any given day, any of us could win. Overall, though, in my perspective, I'd have to say Dean Sundahl is clearly the the king. I mean. I know Gary Denton's got eight or nine or 12 championships or whatever it was, but Dean's still out there winning races in the desert. And uh, I think a lot of people, myself included, really looked up to Dean and tried to, you know, watch him and learn from him because he was an asking for a long time. Uh, he'll always be king. Right, where do you see the sport of HV racing going in the future? That's hard to say. I, uh, my honest feeling is, is that without without manufacturer support, not just one, I think that the only way that the, the sport's going to live or, or prosper would be for all the manufacturers to come along. I think the way it stands right now is they, they feel they have a gold mine and you know, people are buying all those parts and stuff and still out here racing without really any support from any manufacturers. And that's the best thing to hold for anyone. So it's really hard to say. I, I use this example many times this weekend. But people wouldn't watch or go to NASCAR races with all Chevys or all Fords out there. Without all the manufacturers getting involved, it looks like the Supercross races. It's really not, you know, I really can't see, you know, getting the exposure that it's going to take to prosper. Well, Mike Co, obviously a legend in the sport. I hope you enjoyed that. Check out these other interviews I did at the same event with guys like Dean Sundahl, Marty Hart, Jimmy White, Gary Denton, Curtis Sparks. Also, like and subscribe my channel. I really appreciate it. Comment. Let me know. What would you think about this interview with Mike? And what else would you like to see on my channel?